Greetings from the International Confederation of Christian Family Movements, or ICCFM. Congratulations to the CFM Philippines Presidents, Boy and Agnes Yambao. Despite the challenges brought about by the global pandemic due to COVID-19 and its surging variants, you and your team have courageously and intensely continue the CFM work of evangelization to families and communities. You have sailed and kept the boat safely anchored amidst the storm. We congratulate to the incoming officers of CFM to be headed by Sonny and Thelma Mendoza. Your assumption of office has come to a time when the world is still reeling under the grip of this deadly and highly transmissible virus. Our prayers and best wishes are with you. Indeed, this pandemic is changing the way we do our evangelization work. For the past 19 months, we have been doing it through the social media. In a sense, social technology and social networking enabled us to connect and collaborate with people across the country and around the world. It enabled us in a more convenient and less expensive way to reach out to more people and more families. Distance has suddenly become a matter of just pressing a button. Thanks for the gift of technology. But Pope Francis, warned us to use it responsibly. We would like to take this opportunity to inform you of two important advisories that ICCFM recently received from the Vatican's Dicastery for the Laity, Family and Life. As you all know, ICCFM is a member of the Dicastery. The first advisory is on Amoris Letitia, the joy of love. Five years after the publication of Amoris Letitia, a post-synodal apostolic exhortation of Pope Francis, he launched the year 2021, 2022, as the year of the Amoris Letitia family. The celebration started on the 19th of March, 2021, and will last up to the 26th of June, 2022, the day of the 10th World Meeting of Families in Rome. The Dicastery encourages us to reread the papal document and to rediscover every problem, obstacle, and challenges that families have to face today. In celebrating the year of Morris Leticia family, the Dicastery proposed spiritual, pastoral, and cultural initiatives to accompany families around the world in facing the present challenges and demands on families heightened by the current pandemic. These initiatives are intended to be implemented within parishes, dioceses, universities, ecclesial movements and family associations such as the Christian family movements. The Dicastery's concrete suggestions are to hold symposia, promote meetings for reflection and discussion on the challenges of the family life, the value of the family in the society, family spirituality, formation for young people, and on the holiness of married couples and families who lived out the grace of the sacrament in their daily life, as well as in creating well-established networks of counselors, priests and laity, who by their own sharing and witnessing can accompany those who are struggling or in deep crisis. The objectives, among others, are for families to become active agents of the family apostolate and to promote a missionary vocation in families. 
These concrete suggestions of the dicastery are easily implementable and some are already being implemented by CFM in different parts of the world. What can CFM do? As suggested by CFM USA, this is what CFM can do to activate Amoris Leticia. Note that some of the suggestions CFM Philippines has been doing already for the longest time. First, become companions with engaged and married couples on their journey. Organize unit meetings for parents and elderly. Promote and hold assemblies for reflection and discussion on family issues. Involve married couples in organizations to set up family ministry. Promote formation for families in their missionary vocation. Accompany and assist wounded couples and families. Attend to ministry of youth and elderly. Get involved in local celebrations of World Meeting of Families on July 2022. Aside from this enumeration, there is so much to be done for marriages and families today, especially during this time of global health problem. The so-called social distancing should not evolve into or result in social isolation. More than the financial assistance that we give for the physical needs of our brothers and sisters in need. They also need our spiritual, moral, and emotional accompaniment. At the current situation, we can do this through virtual accompaniment using our telephones, mobile devices, computers, and laptops through various platforms of communication. The second advisory is on the call of Pope Francis for us to become a synodal church. A month ago, Vatican has announced the release of the preparatory document and a handbook on the 2023 20, Synod on Synodality. It is a 22-page preparatory document with the title for a synodal church, communion, participation, and mission, and the 42-page handbook for the diocesan phase of the Synod. Please try to get copies of these documents from the Vatican websites or other Catholic websites for your study, reflection, and discernment within your respective dioceses. We are now in the so-called diocesan phase the first phase of this preparation, which would last for six months. The handbook includes prayers, a description of synodality, the objectives of the synodal process, and the main questions to which the local Catholic communities are asked to give feedbacks. We encourage safe in Philippines to participate in these activities. We are all called to be a synodal church. As Pope Francis says, it is precisely this path of synodality which God expects of the church of the third millennium. With all the threats and challenges facing the family today, we can still work together in building stronger and happier families in parishes and communities around the world. We therefore urge CFA Philippines to continue doing your work of evangelization of families, not only in this country, but also in the neighboring countries. As Jesus said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Finally, this early, we would like to extend our invitation to all of you to attend our next ICCFM World Meeting of Families in Budapest, Hungary, to be held on June 2023. We assure you that this will be an experience of a lifetime for CFMers.
thank you and again congratulations for the wonderful journey of service to the Lord. And we wish CFM Philippines all the best for many more years to come. God, God bless, bless everyone. everyone. Mabuhay! Mabuhay.